An early look at Linux Mint 19 Cinnamon. Be right back. All right, welcome back. This is Total OS Today, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. If you are new to all this, I am a Windows user uh, that promotes Linux. All right, first of all, thank you last night for joining me for the uh, live event last night, the TTIF. Thank Toss. It's Friday. The title was your, uh, your idea. Thank you. I think it's kind of nice. We'll love to do more like that. And uh, if you would like to support the channel, that would be great. If we can get enough supporters, I will set up a regular schedule so that more of you uh, around the world can get involved. Thank you. All right, so we're going to take a look at the beta for Linux Mint 19 Cinnamon. I will be using Ubuntu Mate as the host, currently my number one choice for Linux Distro for beginners, and it's personally my choice all around. Let's take a look at the um, some of the release notes briefly, and then we'll take a look at the install and browse Linux Mint 19 uh, Cinnamon Beta. All right, so Linux Mint 19 will be called Terra. Now, unlike Ubuntu, Linux Mint does not follow a strict schedule. They release when ready. I believe it will be released the end of this month of June. So what's new? Well, briefly, GTK 3.22. Uh, Cinnamon apps will load faster in Linux Mint 19. I have noticed that applications loaded faster in Mate and XFCE, and apparently Cinnamon will have the same performance, so that's great. All right, there will be changes in Mint updates, such as a notice to reboot. And finally, for a lot of you, this is important. Linux Mint 19 is based on Ubuntu 18.04, but it will not be collecting any data. All right, let's move on at Linux Mint uh, Cinnamon 19. Let's go ahead and follow the install process, and I don't expect any problems. Let's fire this up, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. See if we can get this installed inside a virtual box. Linux Mint 19, as have probably all of the Ubuntu-based distros, have a very user-friendly uh, installer, newbie-friendly. I will choose English, of course. Continue. All right, install third-party software for graphics, Flash MP3. Normally, I would click that for the install process. I will just... Uh, not click that and let's continue to speed this up you have several choices here normally I do one of two things either erase disk and install Linux Mint or try something else when I dual boot I normally set up some free space a partition from Windows that I shrunk to uh, allow free space uh, to install Linux Mint or whatever and then I would use this for the purpose of this test inside a virtual box, which is perfectly safe to test this if you're running Windows 10, choose Erase Disk and install Linux Mint. Nine times out of 10, you don't have to use something else. And I don't really recommend this for beginners. All right, right changes to disk. Let's see, real brief here, I'll take a look. Following partitions extension for e ext4 okay it looks good continue yep new york time zone hey new york how you doing <laughs> i was born in brooklyn oh we'll just go with tos for my name computer's name tos dash virtual box is fine pick a username tos is fine for the purpose of this test choose a password <laughs> I typed in Windows 10 as a joke. Eh, why not? It's um, it's just a test, right? <laughs> um, shall we log in automatically or require? Let's require the password. Okay. And it is copying the files, and we'll take a look. Since the beginning, I've always enjoyed these um, install uh, peaks or uh, slideshow to get you uh, acclimated to something new, if it is something new for you. And it does say here, welcome and thank you for choosing Linux Mint. The slideshow will show you around while the system is being installed on your computer. 
Now there are different versions of Linux Mint. I believe the KDE version will be dropped. Uh, Cinnamon, Mate, and XFCE. In the past, if you wanted something somewhat speedy, Cinnamon was not it. I would go with Mate or XFCE, but it looks like with 19, performance will be boosted to match that of Mate and XFCE, and I'm always for more speed, aren't you? All right, browse the web, such as with Firefox. I usually use a Chromium or Chrome, but Firefox is okay. I wanted to say that another way to test um, Linux, Linux-based operating system is just to create a USB bootable stick. If you are going to test a Linux-based system, I recommend you have at least four gigs of RAM. That should allow you to test just about any Linux-based uh, system out there. All right, so continuing here, Linux to music. Uh, Linux to music, well, in, 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 enjoy your music, listen to podcasts, like, like Linux podcasts, such as mine or Ubuntu podcasts and so on. Online radios, featured software, Spotify, Rhythmbox I use. I don't use Spotify that much, but Rhythmbox I use all the time. A great music player. It's been around for years, since the beginning, actually, when I first started using Ubuntu back in 06. Now, I don't know how long this will take to install. I'm running this off a rather outdated um, dual-core machine. Uh, I have a quad core that's faster, but my son starts college this fall, and I think I will give that better computer to him because, well, because he's my son and I love him. So I'll I'll just stick around with this one and see how far I can go. It, it is a Lenovo. Lenovo and Linux is a perfect marriage. Absolutely wonderful. ThinkPads are great. If you're looking to pick up a new computer or a spare computer uh, to test Linux, such as what I do. Um, check out Lenovo's and ThinkPads. I'll have links for that below in the show notes also if you would like to support this channel. I don't expect any issues, so I think what I may do here, I'll wait another minute or so, then I'll pause the video and, and then, then come back. Hopefully everything will install okay, and it should, even though this is a beta, haven't had any issues in the past. Manage your photos, pics, GIMP, Inkscape. GIMP is a great program for managing uh, and editing photos. All right, so I think what I'll do here is I'll pause the video, come back after this uh, installs, and we'll take it out for a spin. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Okay, I rebooted. Let's go ahead and type in the uh, <laughs> Windows 10 password and uh, see what we got here. Okay, Sidman is currently running without video hardware, and okay, well that's that's fine. This is just a test. Let me try and uh, full screen this again, see if it'll work. I'm not sure what's going on here. It's still showing my Ubuntu Mate uh, panels. What we can do, it's no big deal. Let's go back this way. Okay, so Welcome to Linux Mint. Welcome to your new operating system. This welcome screen will guide you through your first steps, show you how to find help and where to get more information about Linux Mint. Very good. So uh, show this at Dialog Startup. Uh, let's scroll down to first steps. All right, system snapshots. Uh, the first thing to do is set up automatic system snapshots. A minimum of two daily and two boot snapshots are recommended. If anything breaks, you can then restore your computer to its previous working state. Nice. This kind of reminds me of um, System Restore in Windows 10. Okay. Driver Manager. Check the Driver Manager to see if it recommends, if it recommends any additional drivers. Most hardware components are recognized by the Linux kernel and work automatically without the need to install drivers. Some, however, require proprietary drivers. Be careful installing graphics drivers. They continue to be a major pain for Linux in general. Not always, but it's a hit and miss. 
uh, multimedia codecs you should definitely have those and it says here also the update manager the little icon shield uh, in your system tray is your update manager provide software updates security updates and kernel updates to fix uh, bugs keep your computer safe and support newer hardware components okay system settings have a look at the system settings and configure operating system the way you'd like don't hesitate to customize it I agree uh, software manager there are 60,000 applications available that is a lot let's try update manager launch and see what pops up here security updates software updates system snapshots um, okay pretty much self-explanatory uh, Linux Mint recommends to set up automated system snapshots and to apply all available updates. I would have to agree. I don't, I don't think I'll uh, mess with this right now, but obviously you should always have updates ready to go. Let me get out of that. Let's go to documentation. Documentation, new features, release notes. Let's check out the new features. Now this is running a little bit slow in a virtual box. I do apologize for that, um, but that's not too unusual. And again, I don't have uh, the most uh, snappiest computer. Uh, let's see, looks like it'll open Firefox. Uh, looks like that has not been set up for the release notes. Not unusual, this is a beta. All right, let's move on. I don't wanna do that. Let's get out, all right. Uh, help web forums IRC chat and contribute okay well a very nice looking welcome screen to say the least very very, very good all right let's take a look at the desktop here again ignore the very top and, and the bottom panel here this is part of my Ubuntu Mate panel all right a couple of icons computer home and now this will not be a full review just a quick browse through this and see what we have uh, add desklets I guess we can do the clock. I click the plus sign, the plus at the bottom. Can we move this? Yes, I guess we can, sort of. There we go. Right click, configure. Uh, use custom date format. Um, we'll do that, 12 hour. Uh, let's take a look at the quick look at the wallpapers. Very nice. A lot of ones here. Uh, let's Machu Picchu. Let's choose that. And pictures. Machu Picchu rings a bell. I think I've seen something like this on Ancient Aliens. Um, all right, let's move on. The usual shortcuts here nothing unusual so let's go ahead and move on we have the the cinnamon mint panel here at the bottom you can left click as usual system settings lock screen switch 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 user log out power off and the update manager we can right click add applets to panel Again, nothing. I don't see any a lot of cosmetic changes so far to this installed applets. Looks like you have quite a few here. You can download also some applets. Your cache is out of date. Let's update it. Okay, right click again on the panel. Let's take a look at some themes. And remove your cache is out of date. Available themes. Um, uh, let's see. You know what? I think I'll just keep this the way it is, but it looks like you have many, many choices to uh, download, and that's fine. Let's get out of that. All right, so I, I think you get the idea on how this works in terms of right-clicking on the panel, panel edit mode. 
modify panel such as clear all applets move the panel remove the panel so I will turn that off and let's move on to some of the shortcuts here all right so let's files the terminal and the Firefox web browser seems stable so far in a virtual box okay let's move on let's go look at the menu see what's installed let me go through these one by one real quick and see if anything catches my eye uh, let's see redshift color temperature adjustment tool. I never use that supposedly it's it's supposed to be less stressful on your eyes at night graphics of course we have the GIMP one of the best pieces of software to edit photographs the internet we have Firefox hex chat Thunderbird mail and transmission I, I, I do use Thunderbird office the usual LibreOffice suite sound and video you should definitely install those codecs media player and rhythm box not much here of course you can always install more software through the synaptic package manager universal access administration uh, let's see anything catches my eye here of course I mentioned the synaptic package manager a powerful tool to install and delete software okay time shift system restore utility preferences and I'm not seeing anything too unusual here Let's take a look at the startup applications. You can speed up performance on your machine by disabling some of these startup applications. If I was to do a full install of this, I probably would not need the Mint Welcome screen. Um, flap apply flap pack updates probably wouldn't need that in the beginning, and probably uh, support for Nvidia. I don't have Nvidia. Uh, graphics so right there there are three things I disable to maybe speed up the performance of Linux Mint Cinnamon and let's see anything else here catches my eye let's see um, let's take a look at the performance of this system monitor of course a nice search bar there at the top let's go to resources CPU usage a little high and it's using about 764 megabytes in a virtual box not too bad and click the menu button and we have some favorites here to the left you can also right click on a highlighted software and add to the panel to the desktop and add to favorites favorites so if I click add to favorites and we just added the media player right there okay well in this early brief look I would say uh, cinnamon looks fine uh, it seems stable in terms of speed and performance has it been improved you really, I really you really would not be able to tell unless you did a full install and then go from there cinnamon in the past in general has not been quite as zippy as say XFCE or Mate, but you know perhaps that has gotten better in Linux Mint 19 Terra, at least in the Cinnamon version. So absolutely take a look at this. Um, you may you may want to wait to the final release date. Again, it should be by the end of the month. Uh, but this looks and feels great. Um, I have I do have Linux Mint installed in one of my ThinkPads, and it runs and looks fine. So check out Linux Mint 19 cinnamon codenamed Terra. that's all i have for this one if i missed anything please let me know in the comments below as always enjoy your technology and remember that the best operating system the best os is yourself so please use it wisely take care